cutting through the band room din of alternative rock. is an ancient instrument steeped in Persian history. Music has been a very great tool to um, show other people how my culture looks like. It's called a santur, and Iranian student Arman Ariana has played it since he was 10. So when it came to nominating an instrument for his Year 12 music assessment, this 72-string special entered the VCE exam roster for the very first time. I'm excited, obviously, but I'm terrified at the same time because obviously uh, it's hard to be the first person. Putting assessors to the test in finding someone good enough to grade him. We have to look far and wide is the answer to try and find people to assess them. More than 80,000 Victorian students from 15 years of age to 70 will take a VCE exam over the next month as written assessments officially kick off. Practice essays, that's all I've done for the past two months. Same strain, same stress, everyone's feeling nervous. Today we're celebrating everyone that will continue learning and embed it for your lifetime. For these students at Mount Alexander College, it's one exam down, three more weeks of testing to go. Being over is the best part of it, to be honest. I feel good knowing that I've put my all into it and did what I could. We just have so many more exams to go. <laughs> Over 43,000 Victorian students have taken the English exam today. Over 2,000 of those taking English as an additional language. Students now have an agonising wait until December 11 to see how they did. Teachers say the ATAR isn't everything. This exam does not define you, but instead it's a part of the process about you becoming who you are. The last of the exams will be held November 15. Abby Dinham, ABC News.